okay. uh, good evening great to see you all here so yeah today's session is about like say uh, the new recipe that ha that we have added in the travelers ai so which is the recipe for natural language processing so for people those who have attended uh, the session yesterday so it will be like uh, most of the parts are very similar to what we have covered in the yesterday's demo so uh, so yeah so uh, as thanks for the introduction as well so i am sudlai rashmar go and i also go by the name srk so i am currently a data scientist at hashtore.ai and i am a kaggle grandmaster in both competitions as well as the kernel section okay so this is a survey that has been conducted uh, last year in kaggle for with the machine learning people and the data scientists and as we could see from here so the most uh, commonly used uh, data is the numerical data, which is the relational database. So, which which was covered in the last two sections by Dimitri and Faron and Matthias. I mean, uh, Marios. Uh, so, the next uh, mostly used data in in the data scientist uh, life day to day life is the text data. So, that's what we took up after the uh, relational database, and we have created a recipe. So. To begin with, we started with a text classification recipe. So, so this is the ability currently we have inside Driverless AI. So, given if we have some text features, then we will be able to extract uh, multiple uh, text-based features from that text columns, and then we'll we'll give that as inputs to our modeling algorithms. So that run inside that Driverless AI. So the good thing about it is, like say, we, we can use the text as a standalone feature, or we could also use text along with other numerical or the categorical features that we have. For example, say, like we have multiple uh, relational database, and we have a, a text column that we get from some other data source. And if you want to integrate both of them to come up with a, a better model, then yeah, we could uh, obviously do that with the new addition that we have in the Revela say in the current version. So. Just to give an idea of, like, say, what are all some of the use cases that we can do uh, purely in a text space. So these are some of the examples. Say, like, uh, if we have uh, some text documents or a paragraph, maybe a sentence, and if you want to classify or categorize that into one of the multiple categories, then then that's one thing which we could do. So a very good example for document classification could be, like, say. Uh, for any business, there will be like uh, customer queries that will be coming in. And if you want to do uh, automatic tagging of these customer queries, like say, this should go to support, this should go to like customer success, this should go to sales, and so on. So that's one area where we could do this text categorization. So, for example, if, if it's an e commerce site, and if you want, if you have a product description, and if you want to put the product into one of the multiple categories, that, then that's one another application where we could use this. And one another classical application where it, it could be used in all types of businesses, sentiment classification. So this no, needs no introduction. So say like if you want to uh, say if there is a customer review and if you want to like uh, categorize the review into one of the multiple sentiments, then we can do that. Or if you want to like uh, figure out the emotion of the customer review, then that's also one more place where we could use the text classification. So the next part would be like I'll go through like what are all the different types of features that we create inside Revelers AI to accomplish this. So as we could see, so we 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 create both traditional type of features, as in like say the features that exist for decades and the features that has recently come in to do our uh, classification problem. So the very first type of features that we create is the count-based feature. So it's it's also called as the bag of words features. Say uh, we take n grams. Say it could be a single word or multiple words together, and then we get the word frequencies out of it. Like say how many times each of these words or this combination of words occur in this document and so. So that's that's one type of features that we extract from the text column. So the next type of feature which we extract from the text column is TF-IDF-based features. So as we could see, like say if if we just extract only the frequency of the words then uh, most of these stop words like and they the will come in and it it, it it will have like high occurrence most of the times and they, they don't really mean a lot when we do a text classification. So uh, one other uh, good thing which people generally create in the text space is TF-IDF based features. So this also includes some weightage to the uh, document frequency. So like say 
how many times it's I mean, it is occurring in our corpus and so on. So it also gives a, uh, it also multiplies with the inverse document frequency. So we also get a high weightage to the rare words, so which are useful for our classification task. So these are the second types of features which we create inside Revelers AI. And then the most uh, recent ones, so we do create uh, word embeddings as well. So if, if you see the previous two features, so one, the thing is like say, it says about like whether the feature, I mean how many times it is present and like, uh, and how often it, often it is present and so on. But it doesn't say like, what is the relationship between the different words that is present in our corpora. For example, say if, if there is a word which is given like this, say walking and walked. So it's just that like they, they are in different tense format, but the, the, uh, the thing that like there is a relationship between walking and walked won't be captured if you use count or TFID of base features. So that's that's one thing which which will be captured by word embeddings. Word embeddings are nothing but uh, the vector, I mean n-dimensional vector representation for each of these words. So what we'll do is like say we we get an n-dimensional uh, vector representation for each words. So in those n dimension in that n-dimensional space. If you see, like then, like walking and walk and swimming and swam will be much closer to each other. So, so this kind of captures the uh, similarity of such uh, words. So, these are some of the examples that uh, has been uh, taken from the TensorFlow website. So, that's how word embedding features are uh, extracted. So, this is exactly what goes into our uh, recipe. So, like say, once we extract those features. Uh, then we create these things. So, like say, it, what we extract the TFIDF and the count features from the text columns. Once we do that, like it will uh, lead to an enormous uh, dimensional space. So, uh, sp uh, since the number of words could be very huge. So, in order to reduce that, we do a truncated SVD on top of that one. So, I'm talking about the first line here, and we create the first type of features that that will feed into our model. So, uh, these features will be named as TXT if you use. Uh, uh, the driverless AI will be able to see that one. So the second type of, in the second type of features, what we do is like uh, we we extract TFID of base features, and then we build a linear or logistic model on top of that. So this is very similar to the target encoding which we do. So like say, uh, I, I I hope like Dimitri was mentioning about the target encoding. So this is very similar to target encoding. So we will do it in a k-fold cross-validated manner. So just to uh, not overfit to the data. So what we'll do is, like, say, we'll we'll split the data into k folds. We'll use k minus folds uh, to build this linear model and then do a prediction on the kth fold. So we repeat this k times and we'll get the feature for the entire training set and, and the test set. So this is the second type of features which we create, and then the third set of feature, as we was mentioning, so we we create the word embedding based features. So uh, we we learn the word embeddings based on the input corpora that has been given, and we apply a CNN classifier on top of that. So uh, on the top of word embeddings, we do a CNN classifier, and this is again done in a k-fold cross-validation manner, and we we get TXT CNN based features out of this. The reason we started with CNN instead of say like uh, uh, RNN models, which generally is used in the NLP field, is because like say. Uh, CNN models tend to be much faster compared to the RNN models. So when we do our parameter tuning to come up with the best features, I mean best parameters for the CNN model, it was kind of very fast enough. And we also did some experiments, and we also referred to many papers, and we saw that, like say, CNN is kind of very close to RNN in terms of performance for text classification, but it, it gives a much faster, fast in time of the, uh, I mean in 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 the time. So, so that's the reason we started with uh, CNN transformer on top of word embeddings. But we are, we are also planning to add RNNs and other deep learning architectures that are, are new into our uh, driverless AI recipe. So yeah, so I just want to uh, show that uh, like how it would look like in the uh, driverless AI page. So once we run our experiments over here, so the only thing we need to do is like say, apart from the uh, regularly learning, uh, running the driverless AI, so we need to go to the expert settings and set the TensorFlow models to on. That's because like that, then 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 only like we'll create our CNN models. So we need to set the uh, TensorFlow models to on, going to this expert settings, 
and then the model will be automatically built uh, based on the different features that we create from the text columns and also like say we do uh, hyperparameter tuning and model selection on top of all these features so here is an example of like uh, the different types of text features that has been created inside the driverless ai so and yeah so just to give an, some idea about like the roadmap plan so we are planning to add multiple different types of architectures uh, for the deep learning models into the driverless ai and also most of the features which we currently create are word based features so we we are yet to go into character level features so that's one more thing which we are planning to add and we also tested it out on some uh, different languages as well say like uh, one in arabic and one in another uh, indian language so we we were also able to get some good results on the other language as well so the thing is like say uh, it it works not only for english but it also works for other languages so if we have a say word like structure in that language then it will work in general yeah so that's that's mostly what i wanted to cover in my talk about the nlp recipe that's currently there in uh, driverless ai but yeah this is a new kit that we have like new recipe that we have added recently and we'll be adding new, more recipes for nlp in the upcoming days thank you Oh, ah, okay. So that's a good question, actually. So, do you train word embeddings directly on the uploaded data in Traveler say, or do you have a preloaded word embeddings? So, yeah. So currently, we we train the uh, word embeddings directly from the uploaded data. So currently, we are not supporting uh, in the current version. At least there is no uh, support for pre-trained word embeddings. But we are planning to add in one of the upcoming versions because, like, that's that's one thing like which will improve the accuracy as well. uh do you plan to use domain related dictionaries maybe uh okay so uh, not directly but maybe we'll plan to add some kind of an uh, expert settings where we could in input the domain related dictionaries like where we could uh, input a, a, a file in the form of a dictionary and driverless say will take care of it i hope that's it and yeah oh okay one last one on language support can you specify particular tokenizers for example for thai pai thai oh okay so uh, we currently don't have that uh, say flexibility of uh, giving that in the uh, expert settings but uh, i think we might have some sometime in the future currently there is no support and do you plan to use transfer learning in nlp in future yes definitely we are planning to do that so there is a huge amount of like say research that has been coming up in the recent past where the transfer learning is being used in nlp with a huge success yeah we are looking into that one and hopefully sometime soon we will have that in our recipe thank you thank you very much that's okay